All right, what is up, everyone? Today, we're going to be reviewing people's account. We have two people in the line. And this belongs to Emia on my Twitch. So let's take a look at his account and see what his problem is. His D look level 70 out of 80. Ratio doesn't look so bad. It's not the best, but it's okay. Uh, Wolf's Race Zone, all right. Four piece Crimson Mitch. 887. All right, that's acceptable. What about Sing Chu? Sacrificial Sword, level 80, okay. It's not level 90. 73% critical rate with 111 critical damage. 257% energy recharge, that is too much. He's probably using uh, energy recharge sands, right? No bueno. That is too much energy recharge. So I recommend him to change the main stats to attack percentage. Well, if you think about it, if you have R1 Sacrificial Sword, you're not gonna get a lot of reset. But you can probably cover that up with another character by killing monsters, which I think is probably doable with this account. So I would say change the sands to attack percentage. You gotta farm a little bit more. Talents, 168. Perfect. We're gonna move on to Bubaria. 48% critical rate, 105% critical damage. I am so against this because whether if you use Rosaria for uh, sub DPS or not, I suggest that you would go for the highest critical rate build possible. From this passive, it says when you are using your Q, it increases crit rate of all nearby party members except herself by 15% of Rosaria's crit rate for 10 seconds. This is actually super nice. By any chance, if you have 100% critical rate, that's gonna give you 15% critical rate. That is so crazy. Let's move on to Bennett. Is he? Oh no, that doesn't look like he's using a cool of Favonia. He's using Favonia's sword, which is fine because it seems like you are on a F2P account. So you use whatever you have and you chose Favonia's sword, which is great. Let's take a look at your critical rate, critical damage. That is absolutely shit. I would say that you would also want to work on your Bennett. Because if you build him as a sub DPS, he's gonna do quite a lot of damage. If you refer to my latest Bennett video, that's gonna be super, super nice. So there's that. You are using 4 piece Noblesse of Leech. That is correct. Very nice. What I would recommend. C1, that is perfect. Nice. No restriction on his Q. Talent level 126. You might want to spend some resource on 2E so that you can do a little bit more damage. Because basically, when you're on your Q, Bennett can spam his E. Like, he can use E every 2 seconds. That is crazy. You have Yoimiya. 874. 87% critical rate with a 133% critical damage. I suspect that you're either using the new bow or battle pass bow. Nope. What the f***? How the f***? Oh, right. Yoimiya's ascension stats is crits, right? Sorry, my bad. 4 piece Shime. No constellations, of course. Talents, 874. Alright, so, I can say that your Yoimiya is gonna do a lot of damage, but you might want to work on your level a little bit. We have Fischl that you can use for Spare Abyss. 50, 85, that is a terrible critical rate, critical damage. You are using Stringless, that is okay. No set bonus, I have nothing to say about that, because I can see that your Fischl is not built really well. Constellation C1, Talents 4, 5, 1. I'm not so sure if you're even using Fischl. Beto, 4, 8, 10. You have some constellations here. C6, oh my god. Let's take a look at the stats. 49, 97, that's a horrible... <laughs> Weapon, you're using Skyward Pride, okay. Also level 70 out of 80. If you look at the stats, there is energy recharge. There is damage increase. And then, you know, after you use your burst, you get this vacuum blade. I wouldn't say this is the best in slot weapon for Beidou, but you can still use it because energy recharge and increased damage. Keep it at level 70 out of 80 until we find out that we can fully invest into Skyward Pride. Xiangling, 1000 attack, 41% crit rate with 103% critical damage. Dragon Bane, 2 piece Shime, 2 piece Emblem. I would say that you want to go for 4 piece Emblem Fate Set, it's really nice. Constellation C1, your best constellation for Xiangling is C4, but that is also fine. No constellation Xiangling is better than uh, a lot of the characters. Talent, 156. Alright. What? Oh my god, did you not? Let's pretend that we didn't see that, but you lost your 60 resin just like that. Okay, I can see that you have spent a lot of resin farming for artifacts, and you kind of neglected the character ascensions and leveling up your weapons. So I would say you should do that first. What is your problem with this account? I have too small of a character pool and I have double pyro DPS, so kind of hard to distribute. Okay, so first of all, level up your characters and make your weapons level 90. Work on their talents. That is the priority instead of farming for artifacts because it seems like you're not progressing a lot. So let's head over to Sphere Abyss and I'll teach you how to distribute characters. And it should give you a nice idea on how to make a team and which characters to work on. 
For example, you have two pyro, right? So, best friend with Yoimiya is gonna be your official. And then you have Diluc and Sinkchu. That is gonna be the best combination, in my opinion. And then, you have Bennett, Diona as a healer. Attack buffer here. It's really good for you to have a Bennett paired up with Xiangling. But your Xiangling is not built. And it seems like your Diluc is your main DPS. So, until we work on your Xiangling, we are gonna bench her for a bit. So, I would like to put Diona as Diluc. His Q is a big AoE attack, right? So, I would like to say you would want to pair this team with Diona and then fill the last slot with something else. I saw that you love to use your Rosaria here, right? So let's put that. And then if you put Bennett, it can do whatever. You can put either Kaya, Beto, Sucrose, not really so much, but uh, still something. I would say Beto. Just make sure that you're not going to be going against the Pyro Cube. I'll show you how it works. Oh, oh that's fine. Okay. Your Yoimiya is really well built, so you have no problem killing monsters when you have the right supports. Take down the shield. You're good to go. That's your first team. So that's gonna be your team. If you level up your characters and level up your weapons, then it's gonna be a lot smoother. I know that some of the constellations will bother you, but I think that's how you would be building your team. Alright, so I hope that helped. Let's move on to the next person. Okay, Mr. Kunsei, I don't know what to build on my second team. He goes for national team. One bad thing about national team is that you're using all those valuable support characters in one team, and your second team is f Let's take a look at your character pools. We have Ganyu, Mona, Bennett, Zhongli, Xiao, Raiden, Shogun. What the f You have everything. Why do you not know how to build a second team? Alright, so he has a problem. Getting a full star on uh, floor 12. Floor 12 is mostly the DPS check, right? So he's got the idea, but he just doesn't know how to make a solid second team, I guess. So here's what you would do. Ganyu herself is a f***ing army. One man army is Ganyu. And also another one man army is a f Xiao. Well, let me see what we can do to improve this. All right, why don't we try this one? Like a four star team and a five star team, I guess. All right, here we go. Meatball! Wow, your crit rate is shit. Your Xiao is really well built, no? That's a lot of damage. It feels like it's suffocating. Zhongli here. Meatball again. There you go. <laughs> Why do I not remember all these monsters? Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened. I, I guess I just kind of cleared everything with my uh, C6 characters. I have no idea. I had no idea even if he had those or not. Festering Desire. Awesome. Okay. Alright, moving on. Character attack, 20%, nice. 
We have to make sure we use the shield, okay? Let's try to eye frame everything. Seems like it's gonna be okay now. Okay, we have one minute. Okay, uh, I have diagnosed some of the problems. We need a grouper here. So, problem with your pull is that you cannot have a grouper without using a sucrose. You have no Kazuha, you have no Venti, and all your character kind of looks like they have a small radius of the attack. And then your character is not strong enough. So in order for you to clear that, you would probably have to work on your characters to make them level 90 or make all your weapons to level 90 and all that. So here, let's take a look. Your Ganyu is using Prototype Crescent. F2P weapon. Not enough damage. No constellations. Your... Oh, man. It makes me feel bad. Your talents levels are pretty nice. There's Mona using the Witsith. Oh, she's a DPS. But you're only using 2P's Heart of Death. What the f*** is this? Is she for your freeze team probably, yeah? That's a waste of critical damage. You might want to change your circlet to critical rate. Then she might be doing a better job. And there's Aloy f***ing useless ditcher. There's Bennett with the festering desire. But you didn't have enough critical rate it felt like. Especially with your auto attacks and Qs. Let's take a look at your talents. 688. That is weird because I felt like your Bennett was so weak. Level 90 festering desire. Wait, wait. What is your sans? Bruh. Uh, can we give Black Sword to Bennett instead of leaving it on Jean? Like, you can give this festering desire to Jean. Alright. Prototype Star Glitter. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Alright, 689. No constellations. Your artifacts, two piece, tenacity, two piece, noblesse. So you're trying to use him for burst while you're using a prototype star glitter with the f energy charge. I don't like Zonli's, you know, E particle being like very RNG. So what I did was, or what I would recommend you to do would be, why not try to go for Black Cliff Pole? If you want to use him as a burst support, I would much rather use Black Cliff Pole than a prototype star glitter. This energy charge is not going to help you so much. And there's Shao with this match. He was doing an okay damage. Okay, yeah, he's well built. He's using two piece very distant, two piece gladiator, eight eight eight. Right, and Shogun was also decent in my eyes. She is using the engulfing lightning, C zero though, right? C zero, right, and Shogun. But that's why I tried my best to get all those stacks before I use my Raiden Shogun's Q or your Raiden Shogun's Q because with the full circle, then she would do decent amount of damage. But it takes a lot of time. Yeah, that's about it. You gotta work on your sucrose. If you do not want to have any grouping problem. And it always had been like that. Spear Abyss would have those floors where they would have uh, scattered monsters. What is so sad is that most of his weapons are level 90. So one thing you can do probably would be leveling up your characters for the last time. Sing Chiu Shangling to level 90. This account is like the most frustrating account I've ever seen because I can see that he has put in a lot of time leveling up a character and most of his weapons are level 92. So it's just that the floor 12 is the shitty one. You just need more DPS and you're probably hitting the glass ceiling of the F2P. But trust me and make your Seng Chu, Xiangling and you gotta work on your Sucrose too. That's the only grouping character you can have for now. So three characters, that's gonna be homework for you. Xiangling, Seng Chu, Sucrose. Okay? Alright.